Hey guys, welcome to this Nut Goes Nerd video. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 applications for the Mac. Now there'll be a link in the video description to where you can download all of these applications and I really do recommend downloading them because I think they're really good. So the first application we've got is AMSN. Now what AM AMSN is, it's um, an instant messaging client for the Mac. Now you can't say you've got AIM or Skype or something, you can't sign in with that as the name suggests you can only sign in with MSN. Now the reason why I use this instead of normal MSN or ADM or something like that is because the normal MSN has so many restrictions if you've got it on the Mac. You can't send nudges, you can't go on webcams, you can only have a certain amount of emoticons, you can't send winks or anything like that. But with AMSN it unlocks all those features for you and it's a great application. The reason I don't use ADM is because that also has a couple of restrictions even though that is just a Mac application, I, d I don't like it as much as the AMSN. It's got a bit of a weird layout, it isn't that attractive but it works fine so I like it. Second application I've got is Echo Font. Now Echo Font is the Twitter client that I use so I'll just go ahead and open it up now. As you can see it's got a little 14 star next to it, that means I've got 14 new tweets last, since last time I checked. And whenever you get a new tweet it does appear in the top right hand corner of the screen. So as you can see, this is my Twitter role here, all the recent updates we've got. You can check uh, out replies, messages, I won't go on that because I've got some people's information there. Uh, lists and trending topics and searches and stuff like that. So um, as we can see, we can go straight down on my Twitter role, see all the tweets. We can go straight to the bottom and it'll load some more. Also, as you might be able to see there, there's two little green lines. Now, if you ever get an app mention, it will appear as green lines on the timeline if it's anyone you're following, so you can easily find them. The next application I've got is called Wine. Now, this application did used to be called Darwine, but it's changed its name now to Wine, and it does also come with another application called Wine Bottler, so to make it work, you'd have to get Wine Bottler. Now, what Wine does and Wine Bottler is they let you run Windows applications on your Mac. So say you want to use Sony Vegas, but that's only available on Windows, you can download it and run it using Wine, and it works really well. Again, it does have a bit of a dodgy interface when you're using it, but it's great. The next application I've got is Colleguay. Colleguay is an IRC client, which I use to connect to the chat room on my website and various other IRC chat rooms. It's really good, it's free. Um, you can use it to connect bots, you can use it to send commands to your chat room, change topics, kick, ban, op, give people voice and stuff like that in your chat room. It is really, really good and it's free. Next application I've got is called Aptana Studio. What Aptana Studio does it is sort of like Xcode, but it's a little more advanced. It involves a bit more coding and it is got much more of a wider range of stuff you can develop on it, like using it, you could uh, create Adobe Air applications, you can create normal uh, Mac applications, you can create web applications, it is a really good program and I recommend getting it if you're into um, developing applications and stuff like that. Next one I've got is called Handbrake, if, you don't, if you've never heard of Handbrake then where have you been? This is possibly the best application in the entire world, what it does is it lets you rip like movies and stuff off DVDs. I've done a video on it before, I'll annotate it on the screen now. But to make it work, you do I um, if you're using it on Windows you have to have a program called DVD 43. If you're using it on Mac you have to have VLC player because what those other programs do is they bypass the security certificate and then handbrake rips the movie off the DVD for you. Next one is Zatu, again this one's available for Windows as well. What Zatu does it allows you to watch TV and stuff like that on your Mac. Um, it's slow at connecting sometimes, but it works really well and it's free and legal. Next one I've got is Cam Twist. Cam Twist is a really advanced um, webcam effects package. You can create really groovy effects. You can also do live chroma keying. So say you've got a big green background like I've got here. I'm not going to demonstrate it. I've just put this up so you can't see my messy bedroom. But say you're doing a live stream and you have one of these green screens up, you could do some chroma keying with that live, it's really good, free, easy to use, recommend that program as well. 
Um, next to last, I've got a program called Burn. What Burn does, it allows you to burn programs onto CDs and DVDs really easily. Like I say, I'll just open it. Uh, as you can see, you've got all these different sorts of discs you can burn. You can also uh, record onto a VHS if you want. You can copy DVD that you've got. You can burn a data DVD, yeah, DVD video. Um, again, another DVD. It is really great, really simple. And also, when you burn in a DVD, it creates an ISO file as well. So that's quite useful if you want to burn another one. And last but not least, we've got Cyberduck. Cyberduck is a program which lets you do multiple things. The main reasons I use it for is for doing SSH in, into my iPod Touch and for uploading files onto my website using the FTP server. Really great application, free, easy to use. Um, it's just an all-round good application for the stuff you want to uh, use it to do. So that was just a Nut Goes Nerd app, uh, tutorial telling you my top 10 apps for the Mac. I'll have a link in the description to download them all. So comment, rate, subscribe and thanks for watching.